how you went about getting that thing in the, in the boat, if you will, and then how did you structure the creative financing? Sure. Yeah. So um, it's probably been about a year since I've looked at a, uh, a term sheet from a traditional lender. And so I, I've been really honing in on talking with sellers about um, whether it's seller financing or even loan assumptions. We were able to find a recent deal actually through a wholesaler. It was a colleague, friend of mine. I'll give uh, credit where credit is due. Um, Alex Cazada, shout out to Alex. Um, but he was able to get a, a property under contract for us. Um, and we were able to negotiate some really good terms. So we got, um, it was a Can I interrupt you for a second? So sure. walk me through this wholesaler situation. Like, how does that work? A guy's out hunting deals. He's like bird dogging deals for you. And then he comes across them. And he says, hey, Martin, I got something. Or how does that work? Yeah. Yeah. So we, um, Ryan and I are part of a, a group that um, we had mentioned to, to Alex, hey, if you find something in this marketplace, please let us know. So instead of wholesalers just sending out deals, randomly I, I i go to them and i say hey if you find anything i'm your guy i'll be out there tomorrow to look at it so a wholesaler to, to answer your question is somebody who has a team or it's him who's calling owners over the phone and um, just having a conversation with them and and just seeing if they're interested in selling their property and then uh you know carrying on that conversation and continuing um to see what the terms may be versus um, you know what the sale price may be, and that's kind of where um, you know we differentiate ourselves when it comes to talking with sellers. 